Hi, this is Amy from Stress Free Math for Kids, and I'm here to show you just another great manipulative or toy that your kids can play with and just be having so much fun that they don't even realize how much they're learning. So I always say the sign of a great manipulative is one that you can give to a child of any age or even an adult and they will have just as much fun with it. That the little kids can just be playing and not even realizing what they're doing and then when they get older and they're actually using the manipulatives to do math, it's something they're already familiar with in a hands-on way. But they're fun. They're things that kids want to play with. They don't feel like they're actually doing schoolwork. So these are one of my favorites that is a little less known. It's not something that most people have at home, but maybe you should. They're called pentominoes, and the set I have here is rainbow pentominoes that come in different colors. They're all the same thing. There's just different colors of each set so that you can differentiate for different kids if you have a small group, or the kids just like to put them together to make different colored things. But what I have out here is one full set of the pentominoes. What those 12 pieces actually are are the 12 different ways you can arrange a group of five squares. We teach the kids prefixes. Pent means five. Anytime they hear pent, they know it's five. From the pentagon to pentominoes. And so these are all the different ways you can arrange five squares. With our older kids, and this will be on one of my lesson plans you can get from my website, we'll actually give them square tiles and ask them all the different ways they can arrange them so the edges are lined up. With little kids, you don't even have to do that. Just give them the tiles. Let them play with them. Let them figure out what they do. What they will start doing naturally is just putting them together and building with them. You can tell them it's kind of like a puzzle, but there's not one right way to do it. You can put them together any way you want. We just tell them try to fit them together so there's no spaces. What they pretty quickly figure out is sometimes in order to fit it in the way you want, you're going to have to flip it. What they're actually doing is something they've taken out of elementary school math. They used to teach elementary kids to slide shapes, to flip shapes, to rotate shapes in space. They've taken it out of the standards now. Now it just comes up in middle school when you start doing the beginning of geometry and the kids are just expected to do it on paper right away. But the kids need to do this hands-on to really understand how it works. So when they see these pieces, when a parent sees these pieces, you know what they always say? What does it remind you of? It's Tetris, that's what I hear every time. And I'm like, yes, and what made Tetris fun for you on a computer is even more fun with the hands-on pieces for kids. The older kids like to make pictures. They've made Minecraft characters, they've made dinosaurs, they've made all kinds of crazy creative stuff with these pieces. You wouldn't believe what they make. And then they, a lot of times, even like to trace around the shapes and give you a puzzle and you have to figure out how they did it. There are just so many things you can do. But once again, it's a great toy because you can just give it to your child and they will play with it for a long time and not even know how much they're learning. Or if you want to use them for more guided instruction, there are so many ways you can do that too. And I will have all those plans available on my website, Stress Free Math for Kids. You can download very specific plans with what to say, what to do to guide your kids in playing with this to get to their geometry knowledge. But if you just want a toy for your kids to play with at home and not even know how much learning they're doing while they're having fun, this is a great one to get, Rainbow Contaminous.